All right, I'm back. This is my Amiga 500 uh, enhanced chipset machine. As you can see, it's a revision 8A.1. Basically, a basically an Amiga 500 Plus. Now, this was sold as a regular Amiga 500. You know, half a megabyte of chip RAM and that sort of stuff. And I upgraded it to one megabyte of chip RAM. Done the modifications to the board. And with this expansion, I have two megabytes of chip RAM right now. I had a f terrible fire, 530, in my machine, but I took it out. Then I had a, uh, a Scan Plus ECS. It was a Scan Doubler, not the individual one, not the Invision, but from another company. And it was okay. Like, the bad part is that I needed a, uh, a special monitor uh, that could do 50 Hz on VGA signal. And the only one I had to this point was the Sony monitor. That one, focus. This monitor can do 50 Hz refresh on VGA cable. The Dell I have here cannot. It needs 60 Hz with the scan Doppler that I have. So, yeah, well, right. Back to it. Uh, I have the version 2 adapter installed. It's upside down, but if people can make out the numbers, right there, that's a that's an enhanced chipset, Denise. I don't know the exact word from for it. But, uh, yeah, let's test out and see if the... Oh, I need power, of course. Yeah, let's check out if it can show any picture on boot. Remember, it had some issues with the version 1 adapter. Let's check it out. Whoop there! Nope. There we go. Still the same issue. Still the same. It's it's the money for toughing. It's it's not it's not the adapter. But it's it's the monitor. But yeah, it looks okay. Let's check out the I have the the menu button. Let's check it out. Keep it in. Ah yeah. One long haul, sorry, one long push on the push button. That brings up the menu. One, one short push. That way you can select. And this way it, it goes down. There's a lot of stuff.
Yeah. Sure. Soft. That's what I have the menu set as on the other. Let's see. Save. Save. And we get 50 hertz. Yeah. Low image. Ah, come on. Yeah. Looks better. Looks way better. Well, I'm gonna attach the keyboard and perhaps run a few demos, some games. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Um, those will be for future videos. Uh, I got a new toy <laughs> I want to play. So there you have it. Version 2 adapter. Let's check it out. Yep. Still awesome. Still awesome. I can highly recommend it. Reinhardt is is doing an excellent job of soldering. Uh, it's solid delivery, and the price is fair. It's it's really. Really, really fair. It's it's just perfect. I love these small things. I love them. Well, that's first time power on on the version two adapter. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, one last thing, the HDMI cable, as of now, it's, it, it's an open case. I, I have routed the VGA connector back here. And I've glued it. But that's okay. I have a scan doppler for later. And then I have these two switches. Yup, we modified our cases back then. I've done it. But I, I think it's, it looks okay. It's on both sides of the floppy drive. I'm thinking about drilling yet another hole for the menu button right there in the middle of the switches and then I've ordered a uh, 50 centimeters of HDMI ribbon cable with a uh, HDMI male HDMI mini male in one end and female full-size HDMI on the back and I am thinking perhaps put it there and then just on the top cover remove some material so I'll, I'll get a I'll get an HDMI output right there I think that will be I think that will be yeah that will be okay it's on the back of the case so well we modeled our cases back then 
so why not do it anyway? It, it's it's the bottom shield. It's nothing else than the bottom shield, uh, not shield, but it's the bottom case, and they they can still be found. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that, that will be an awesome machine. I only have one question though. Would it be possible to have this uh, Scan Plus ECS, Scan Doppler, on top of the adapter? with the Denise on top again like <laughs> do a multi sandwich layer um, that way I can still have the VGA output feature as well as HDMI can that be an option? yeah or will it drain so much juice that something around this um, area here on the motherboard will burn? Will it die? Oh, oh, I, I'm really, I'm curious. Can it be done without damaging the motherboard? That's, that's something, because if it's possible, well, if it's possible, then I'll have a lot of features. Then I only need a terrible fire, 536, but I'm not the guy who has money, nope, so that's wishful thinking. Hey, it would be nice to have a Mika 1200, but I'll never afford it. I can never be able to afford that thing. But yeah, wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Perfect picture. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Nope. That was the boot selector. Let's check it out. Let's check out. Whoa. Nope. Nice. Well, it works. Well, I have to stop the video now. It's become quite the lengthy video. So, I really, really, really hope you had, um, yeah, you will have some use of my video. Sorry for my bad English. Sorry for the camera. It's it's my phone camera. <laughs> but yeah. The colors are off, by the way. The colors are off on the video, not on the monitor. Not on the monitor. It's, it's something about the camera and color. But yeah, it works. It's perfect. Well, I have to stop now. Bye.